can't wait to bring these to my next baby shower. I'm definitely going to send them to my niece and my sister-in-law, who are both expecting but live out of state. And even though I'm not sure yet what I'm going to put inside, I'm sure that they will save them because they're so cute and put them on the shelf in the baby's room as decoration. So I want to make sure that you know how to put everything together. And the first one that you're probably wondering about is the three-dimensional little shoe. So I've got the bottom of the shoe here and this crazy looking alligator mouth piece. And this little tab is cut off because I wanted you to be able to tell that that one goes at the bottom in the center of the bottom of the shoe. So I'm going to glue that down and then I'm going to glue each of these down all the way around the shoe. So I'm putting glue on each little tab and I'm holding it while it dries to make sure that it's nice and as perfect as possible. But one thing you, want, you might want to try if you're going to make a lot of these is to try using some double sided tape or an ATG gun to just run some tape along all of these and then do them one at a time. But that way you wouldn't have to wait as long for each piece to dry. Alright, so I'm just gluing this final tab in place and I'm going to hold it while it dries. And this seems like a little extra work putting this all together, but it really makes a nice round cute little shoe with all these tabs. And as you can see the inside looks kind of weird. So that's why I made this little liner part that goes right in there and covers it up. So I embossed mine just to give it a little extra pizzazz. And it just goes right in there and covers it up. So now I'm just going to fold down all these little tabs here so that I can glue the top of my shoe in place just like that. So my cute little top is on and now I'm going to take this optional little strap and I'm going to glue it right here and I think a little brad right here would be cute to look like a button or a snap. So here's my cute little box. I've already made the top and the bottom is the same. It's just a simple cube shaped box so you've probably made these before but just in case I'll show you. I'm just going to put glue on the tabs and then I'm going to put it together. I've got the front and the back of my buggy here and this is the middle part which bends around and I'm going to glue it inside the front. I'm going to start with the little awning here in the front and I'm going to glue this tab first and then I'm going to go all the way around. So as you can see this first little tab just goes right up on the edge so that the little awning is sticking off and folds over and then each tab just goes around in order all the way around. I have everything glued to the front here, so now I'm just going to take glue and put it on all these tabs, and then I'm going to put the back on. I've got my little buggy finished. Now I'm going to create the hood that goes on the back. So to do that, I take this part with the three tabs, and I do kind of the same thing I did before, and I'm going to put both sides on. So first I'm going to glue this tab right here. So this is the finished little hood and there's no need to put glue all up inside the whole thing. I'm just going to put glue on the inside of these little strips and I'm going to put it right onto the back of the buggy. Now I've got my little hood in place and the last piece is this little decorative part that just goes right on top and I'm not even going to glue it on. I'm actually just going to put it right on with some brads and my exacto knife here. So I'm going to punch a hole and I'm going to put some brads on. And here we go with the rocking horse, and this is kind of the same deal again. I've got my front and my back, and this piece that goes on the inside. And for this one, I'm going to put the, the side with the longer tab is going to go towards the horse's face. And as always in your download, you also get the PDF with the diagram of where the tabs go. So when I start gluing the tabs on, you're going to put the glue first on the middle tab on the middle of the bottom. That way your sides line up real nice. So there's the middle, all glued onto the front of the rocking horse. All the tabs are in place. So now I'm just going to put glue on these guys and put the back on. So here's what my finished horse looks like. Super cute. And that does it. So I hope this is a big hit at your baby shower or with your friends and family. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.